rolling? Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Okay, I'm winging it. Okay, welcome to Metal Reviews by Josh. Uh, we're at the lovely Cloud Nine in Regina. And first interview, first video interview finally, and I'm here with the guys from Godsphere. The angriest band in Regina. Now turn the most mellow band in Regina. Okay, so I got some questions for you guys. First of all, how long have you been managed by Chuck Livingston? Oh, well, he was new uh, October 31st. 2017. 2017? First CD release. That's when we uh, met Chuck. Okay. Yeah. On your upcoming EP, there's a song called Death's Design. Tell me about it. <laughs> you guys told me about it last year and said nothing. Well, well, <laughs> we decided not to go with that run. Not quite yet. We have a better plan for it. Okay. We have a much further plan for it. We, uh, well, I don't want to give away too much on it. That's design. Okay. <laughs> with a mixture of life's design, of course. Well, no, we don't want to give too much information on that. Gonna you know, go with it. But start. it will not be on this next EP. It's gonna be on the next one after that. No, I didn't make the cut. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. When did you and Wayne first start Godsphere? Holy shit. 2004. Okay. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back to Moose Show when you all started. Four, <laughs> man. Yeah. Pretty sure oh. I was a fucking dishwasher at the time. <laughs> yeah, you were a dishwasher at the spa. How old were you then? 16? Fucking 16, I bet. Jeez. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm 34 now. That was 15 years ago. Gross. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I know, man. Sure. It, 12 there. It, it, yeah, there was many, many <laughs> drinks. <laughs> yeah, we drank a lot. And many uh, obscure choices throughout the years. Oh, man. We had, uh, I remember back in the day, fucking, how we started. We actually started getting it going, uh... It would just mostly be us jamming trashed out of our fucking skulls. We used to call them rock shows on Friday nights. Oh, man. And we'd Saturday, have, rock show Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And we'd have more people in our basement than were at the bar that time. And that's the royal. We made show. we made a lot of money on empties. Yeah, man. It was fucking... <laughs> that, that's how we got paid for our shows, was taking in empties. And it was like thousands of dollars every time we'd cash it in, eh? Not bad. No, man. It was a good run. Yeah, but we did go on I hiatus for what? Oh, about six years, maybe. <laughs> you say six, I say ten. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I say twelve. But yeah, 2004, my, 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 I was five years old. Yeah, yeah my list to say we were both fucked up the whole time. <laughs> so I'm just saying we're yeah, wrong we about that. <laughs> but here we are, we're back. Okay. If you could have made any album in existence, what would you make? Which, what would you have made? Oh shit. Sit mm. on Iowa. <laughs> Probably, yeah. That changed my life the, forever. The, the the hate be, music. Yeah, oh yeah, man. The hate behind it is yeah. exactly. Wayne, what about you? I would almost have to agree. Between that and uh, cryptic writings. Oh yeah. Negadeth, man. Not rest in peace. No man. Not B cells. No man. <laughs> Not super collider. No. <laughs> yeah, we're weird like that. <laughs> yeah, we're weird. Okay. Really uh, when Zach um, came on um, as God's Fierce drummer, um, did it feel more like a family project or did the band suddenly get a lot better? That's actually a good question. <laughs> it is. A good um, question. Which time? He was with us twice. <laughs> yeah. The time well, where you guys recorded. Well, I remember, <laughs> I remember a point where Zach couldn't even play the drum. He was just a kid. That's going away. You back. know, and it's it, it built up to a point and I had I believe he fucking spent a lot of time in his bedroom fucking around on our CDs and shit <laughs> like that, learning guitar. He didn't even know how to play guitar at the time. He's more of a rocksmith kind of guy. Yeah. Beating on the fucking guitar hero oh, shit. Yeah. But like over the years he by far surpassed both of us. And to have him as our drummer was just magical, the fact that he could do that. Okay. But it was, no man, it's fucking, it, it was more of a blessing for us to find him. It was kind of a family project in a way, on their end of it, but he's, you know, man, we're like that. Okay. What are your main influences as a band? <laughs> Rage. <laughs> hey, you talk, build up oh, yeah. of every human 
Musically. 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 Hey, yeah. Pretty much anything. You know, like, uh, like, uh, you like a thrash. I like, like my Pantera. I like yeah. my Death. <laughs> I got my Zach Wild. I got my Vinnie Paul. Yeah. Playing yourself? Oh. I go all over the place and listen to everything. It's Free Clinton's Cringe Clearwater Revival. <laughs> <laughs> uh, put yeah. some polka in there. Yeah. Well, no polka. Hold the polka. Hold the polka. But I mean, everything from Sabbath, I really like a lot of stoner doom oh, stuff. Yeah. So that's where, you know, he's the thrash. I'm the stoner fucking slow shit. And somehow we ended up with this stoner thrash thing. <laughs> okay. We always get what we want. This mud it just ends up anger. weird, fucked up shit. <laughs> mud puddle of age. We fight a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, would you ever go on a mini tour with Dark Messiah again? Um, as you're both getting ready to release new material. Yes. Yeah, fucking angry. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that was one of the uh, yeah. going on that experience with those guys was pretty magical. Yeah. It, it, there couldn't have been a better band for us. To do. I have to give uh, Stephen and John a call after they're done um, bowing down yeah. to Anvil. So. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. absolutely, man. We, we all it's teamed up, and I think coming up in the future here, we're gonna be playing with them again. That would be great. That was absolutely. my first show. Absolutely. Seeing awesome. you guys, Dark really? Messiah, nice. Godspear. Yep. I think it's coming up pretty here. soon here. That uh, would be sweet. Yeah. Um, any possible leads on a newer replacement drummer? I don't know that answer. Uh, we well, got a couple we of guys do. that we've talked we to. We do, yeah. Okay. We don't quite want to get that info out yet. <laughs> yeah. And last Just question. <laughs> have a jam with the guy yet. <laughs> uh, Mona's not going to play drums? Uh, no. Moment of silence? <laughs> <laughs> silence? We went down that road with yeah, uh, yeah, an well. excellent life. <laughs> okay. We can tell these stories on that road. <laughs> yeah. That's where our hiatus started. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. man. Man, last question. I just came up with this one. Would you ever give Chuck his own action figure if the opportunity arose? We actually you know, were talking about that. <laughs> Get out of our heads! We, we, yeah, we, we, we were actually talking about it. A few different <laughs> chuck lines. We were actually thinking like almost like keychains. Keychain, bobbleheads. Yeah, 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 like bobbleheads, yeah. yeah. Chuck has his own line. I'm pretty sure it's in the works, but we need to make a lot more fucking money before that happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> And buy our CDs. Yeah, so buy our CDs. Buy merch, support your local really scene. Really fucking low, man. <laughs> and cut. <laughs>